Hi all, welcome to another video. Now, a number of years ago, Intel released an unlocked CPU called the Pentium G3258. Now, a lot of people, myself included, tried their first overclocking session on that CPU. And I've put this in a system with 16 gigs of DDR3 1600 MHz RAM and a solid state drive and optimized the Intel HD graphics on that CPU for performance. And I've also applied an overclock in the BIOS to four gigahertz. It's quite simple to do, but I probably wouldn't attempt any higher than that because it's on the uh, stock cooler and the system probably wouldn't boot above that. So what I'm gonna do is run first of all Valley in Heaven graphical benchmarks with Bandicam recording and without Bandicam recording, so you can get an idea of what performance hit the system will take when I'm running the games. So let's run Valley and Heaven first. Not the most exciting screen capture video, this section, but these are results after running Valley and Heaven. So without Bandicam recording on Heaven, we're getting a score of 354, and on Valley it's 414 and with Bandicam recording a score of 317 on Heaven and Valley is 370 so what that translates to is a downshift of graphical performance of about 11% when I'm recording with Bandicam so I suppose you could assume the same sort of thing when I report on the frame rates in the various gaming benchmarks which I'm going to do next on to CSGO. Now the resolution is 1360 by 768 and I've got all the graphical quality settings and flags set to either the minimal or off. And we're getting 30 frames per second, which on this sort of system is acceptable. Occasionally it does go down a touch. I'll just see if I can get a firefight going. So even even nudges mid 30s right so that's CSGO on to Fortnite now I've capped the frame rate at 30 to stop any stuttering and the rendering mode is set to performance so at the moment with no characters on the screen we're getting 30 frames per second which on a system such as this uh, that's that's fine um i think that rate will go down once things start happening but at the moment with no other characters in this outside area it's late 20s 30s and pretty stable at the moment actually right so that's fortnite it's good uh, just got a little firefight going on and mid to late 20s which is which is not too bad occasionally dipping down to mid 20s so i guess you could say if you've got the cpu 16 gigs of ram and ssd you'll be able to play fortnite on to paladins at the moment we're getting Nudging 30, mid to late 20s, which is just fine. The game looks all right. It's on maximum resolution, but any graphical quality settings or flags are set to minimal and off, respectively. Looks all right to me. Right, so that's Paladins. On to Realm Royale, which seems to be a Fortnite Paladins clone. So maximum resolution again, everything, all the quality settings set to minimal, flags are off. Um, mid to late 20s with not, with not too much going on. So I think what I'd do on this system is maybe get that resolution down just to get a higher frame rate. So just get a few bits of firefight going yeah it's not even nudging 
20 at the moment so I think definitely get that resolution down where possible in fact what I'll do is I'll pause the video and try just that so I've dropped the resolution down two or three notches and it improves things somewhat you want you really want 30 frames per second or above in this sort of game to make it uh, worthwhile playing right so that's realm royale on to team fortress now this and zula i'd say are the two games where this system shouldn't have too much difficulty playing so indoors with a firefight going we're getting early to mid 30 frames per second which is good enough so I'll just try and respawn and get confirmation of that because I didn't last very long right so indoors it's didn't last very long then so yeah it not just 40 which is uh, good enough so that's team fortress 2 rocket league now and I've got the highest resolution and all the settings set to what's called performance rather than quality and frame rate even though it's not nudging 20 it plays all right which is not too bad on an esports game but ideally we do want that magical 30 so what I'll do is I'll just change the settings and pause the video so I've changed the resolution and it's getting mid 20s so I mean, it doesn't look that great but the frame rate is a lot better so that's probably what you'll end up doing if you want to play Rocket League on this system just to sum up then I've benchmarked and played a few games using the HD graphics on this Intel Pentium G3258 processor been overclocked to 4 gigahertz we've got 16 gig of ram and ssd to help things along so if you've got this processor lying about and you don't have a graphics card then you can safely assume that a lot of the free games that don't tax a system are very much playable if there's any games you want me to test on uh, this system just drop me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe Thanks for watching.